In this second video on running Riva on GKE, we'll deploy Riva to the Kubernetes cluster with Helm, then run Spanish to English, speech to text, and speech to speech translation with the Riva server running on that cluster. Now we need to download the Riva Helm chart, which I've already done off screen. To do so yourself, use the commands shown here. In the Riva API folder containing the Helm chart, edit two files, namely values.yaml and templates slash deployment.yaml. Let's address the edits to values.yaml first. To run the same Spanish to English S to S translation pipeline as in the Riva on GCP demo video, make the following changes in the model repo generator dot ngc model configs dot triton group zero field. Change the language code in the ASR model from US English to Latin American Spanish. So this EN becomes an ES. Next, uncomment the line containing Armir, Megatron, Any, EN500M. Let's also change service.type from cluster IP to load balancer. Since this Kubernetes cluster is deployed on GKE, i.e. a managed Kubernetes platform, this change will make it much easier to send inference requests to the Riva server on the cluster from outside. In templates slash deployment.yaml, add a node selector constraint under spec.template.spec to ensure that Riva is only deployed on the correct GPU resources. We attach the constraint to a node pool. Since we're applying this Riva Helm chart to a GKE cluster, we specify the type of node selector as cloud.google.com slash GKE dash node pool. To obtain the name of the node pool, first run gcloud container clusters list in the terminal. Copy the appropriate cluster name and then run gcloud container node dash pools list minus minus cluster equals the cluster name. Copy the name with GPU in it to the GKE dash node pool field in deployments.yaml. In the directory containing the Riva API folder, run this command to apply the Riva Helm chart to the GKE cluster. Although the terminal in which we ran Helm install is free again, it will be on the order of an hour before we can actually use Riva on the GKE cluster. In the meantime, we can monitor the deployment with cube control by defining a pod variable as follows. Then describing the pod, you can see that approximately 13 minutes have elapsed since I ran Helm install. And finally, we can check the cube control logs on both the Riva model init and Riva speech API containers. All right, presumably we got an error because the Riva speech API container hasn't started running yet. It took about an hour and a half for Helm to install and deploy Riva on the GKE cluster. Thanks to the load balancer service type, we can run the same Spanish to English S to T and S to S translation demos that we ran on the single node GCP VM instance in the very same environment, no less. All we need to do is change the URI to which we send inference requests from localhost to the IP address associated with the Riva API service. 
We get that by running kube control get services, finding Riva API in the name column, and then finding the associated IP address in the external IP column. We then copy that IP address into the URI argument of each call to riva.client.auth. The port number stays the same in this particular setup. Let's run this cell and all below and inspect the results. The translation looks good. When life itself seems lunatic, who knows where the madness is? And the final synthesized audio sounds approximately as it should. You now know how to set up a GKE cluster with Terraform and deploy Riva to that cluster with Helm. You've also seen one way to submit inference requests to the Riva server running on that cluster.